Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be working on the Mini F56 Cooper S. Um, basically recently it's gone into BMW to have a service, as there's a service plan on it still. However, they have quoted me 200 pounds um, to replace the rear brake pads. So I'm just intrigued to understand why they need replacing. I know the brake pad warning light is up, um, but yeah, it'd be interesting to see how much meat is left on them. And they probably don't realize that I'm more than capable for 20 pounds to replace them myself. So yeah, so I'll show you guys how to replace the rear brake pads on your F56 Mini. And it's the same pretty much on all, F um, on all F56 Minis. So um, yeah, let's crack on. Right guys, so the first thing we need to do is chop the front, jack the car up, take the wheel off, and then we can start disassembling the handbrake um, assembly spring and then we can take the sensor off have a look at the brake pads and then pull the caliper off so i'll get the car straight up and we'll get cracking on with that Right, so wheel is off. We need to remove the brake pad wear sensor here, the spring from this um, handbrake assembly, and then pull the handbrake um, cable out. And then we can remove this, take this off. So first what I'm gonna do is release the handbrake. And also I'll show you guys what you need to do at the front um, when we retract the caliper there. So first thing I'm gonna do is just release this spring. Like so. Release that and put that aside somewhere safe. That means we've now got leverage to get this uh, brake cable out. So all I'll do here is I will, there's a hole down here that you can put a small screwdriver in. And if you leave it down like that, this can then prise out like that. And then you can then take your screwdriver out and that should now be loose. Right, next we need to just undo these 14 mil. And the, this is quite a new car, so these come off relatively easy for me, but if you do have issues, you need to put a spanner in here and that'll give you a bit more leverage. Once these are both out, grab a um, pry bar and then this can then come off. This main caliper body can come off. Right guys, so now I've got the caliper away like this i can then take the pads out like so one this side and then this side so what i'll do now is i'll just pry this off very gently and then pull this one out as well like so and that's that out so now this is away um i can then um go to the front of the vehicle and i can show you what you need to do to um, push this caliper piston back and then it's a simple case of firstly taking these out like so get some fresh ones of these putting the um, brake pads back in and then yeah reassemble nice and easy do the other side doesn't actually have a brake um, wear sensor so that's nice and easy there so uh, yeah, it's not too bad of a job, not 200 pounds worth. So let's crack on. Right, so next on the agenda is to take the cap off the brake fluid reservoir, pop that aside. Now this part is covered in this shroud here. Um, all it is, it's got a couple of lock um, bolts here and then this little nut that screws on to this part here, just there. So yeah, once that's done, just take that off and then this whole thing just pops off and then you can put it there and leave it there. This is just so, to make it easier to rewind the caliper back in. Right, so obviously this um, brake pad wear sensor guys, we all need to replace. Um, so what I'll do is I'll do a separate video guys on that straight after this one. And um, essentially all you need to do, we can reconvene with that video and uh, I'll show you guys how to reset it on your um, iDrive as well 
so that's nice and reset. All right. right, so next on the list is just put some new retaining shims in. They just clip in and are sprung loaded like that. Don't worry if they don't fully seat because you can put the pads in and they'll seat with the pads and then do the bottom one as well. Now the brake pad wear sensor pad is this one here. So this goes on the inside, so you just put a bit of grease on the ears. So that should be major. Just helps with it squealing. That's the inner one in like so. Bit of grease on the outside one as well. that in nice and securely so now all we're gonna do is we're gonna use this um, brake caliper winding tool making sure the seal stays where it's meant to be and now we can slide the caliper on back on again Right, so on the home stretch now, so all we're gonna do is just line the caliper up with the bolt holes on the carrier. Make sure they're not cross-threaded as well. Like that. Just pinch them up nice and tight there. That's one braking system done. Just need to put the A, the handbrake cable back on. So the opposite again, pry the lever down using this little hole. Eventually it'll go in like so. Take that out, grab your spring. Like so, there's the spring. Then all I'm gonna do guys, I'm just going to just pop it back in its loop and pop it back in the pad for now and then I can just pull it out uh, when I need to at my own leisure. All right, so that's now back in. What I can do now is test the handbrake as well at the same time. Pump the pedal as well, that is vital. And then we can do everything back up again. pedal and break up check to see if you've got handbrake which I have the lid back on pop the cover back in And there you go, so that's now back in. Bonnet can now be lowered. Drop the car. Right, so now it's just trying to tidy up and put everything back where it belongs and um, go on a quick test drive. Uh, take it easy for a couple hundred miles. Um, but yeah, apart from that, just do the brake service reset. So, as you can see, getting low, especially on the inside, but not um, anything crazy. Um, so really, it's a job well worth doing, um, as long as you've got Carly or something to reset the service light. Um, but yeah, for a couple, 22 pounds versus 200 at the dealership, it's worth doing. And just follow my guide there and you'll be absolutely fine. Um, so 
Next video what I'll do is I'll show you how to reset the service light on the vehicle and change the brake pad sensor. Uh, so yeah, if you like what you see today guys, give us a comment down below, give us a thumbs up and a like and a subscribe and I'll catch you next one. See you later.